Welcome to the Ava Gallery. I'm your host, Elizabeth DeRazio, coming to you from the children's creative place here where anyone can learn to draw and express themselves regardless of age. It's a great way to jump in and discover your inner artist. I'm joined today by Chrissy Flight, the Recreation Coordinator here at the Lebanon Recreation Department, and she's telling us about the Full Moon Fiesta. It's a wonderful time, and tell us what's happening at this year's Fiesta. Awesome. So our Fiesta this year, we have always been asked, can't you put it closer to the full moon? Mm -hmm. So we are striving our best and the full moon for January is the 24th. Our event is now on Saturday, January 23rd. So That's pretty close. We're, we're close. <laughs> <laughs> um, with the conditions being that we have more snow, we're going to have uh, skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, and or folks can just come to Stores Hill Ski Lodge and just enjoy friends, company, family, and enjoy some great food from all different businesses in the Upper Valley. So we've put out different requests, um, and we've gotten a handful of folks to confirm. Uh, we've got Cantori's Pizza, they're on board, the Nosh at the little store, they're ready to make some brownies and some little sweet treats. Um, a few different other folks and we're excited. Last year's got such a great reception too, which was wonderful. Yes, Valentine's Day last year was a good one. We, we think we might have hindered some Valentine's Day plans, but this year we figured let's try something different and again, go closer towards the full moon. I know um, folks always love enjoying just the camaraderie and we've had in the past someone, um, Karen Leo Hill from the Lebanon Diner was able to sing last year and hopefully she'll come back out and add some tunes to the evening. But we have folks that enjoy that and sing along as well as um, we've had Kodo come out with some noodles and rice from to eat and that's always worked out really well and too. And you do get to warm up. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Inside the lodge there's always a wood, uh, they have a fire stove going and nice and toasty we'll have hot chocolate of course and definitely cider on hand and we're we're excited we we set up some of the trails so folks can snowshoe out and experience Goodwin Park uh, we'll have tiki torches that will light up the hill we'll have little cauldrons around so kids can do s'mores and heat up some apple pies oh, nice. so, yeah it'll be a lot of fun we enjoy it we try some new things every year so there may be a big surprise that we're still kind of working out on for this season fingers crossed yes fingers <laughs> crossed things are looking helpful for some uh, some fun things. <laughs> now is this something we should buy tickets to ahead of time or do you want us just to show up? What's the best way to go about getting? Well we would love for folks to buy tickets online. Okay. Um, we have the ability for folks either they can come by the office, they can buy online and uh, get the tickets in advance so then they can just come and check in and go enjoy the food and go enjoy the environment and get active. Sounds good. You yeah. made it the week after Valentine's Day, so there's no excuse not to celebrate both this year. <laughs> right, exactly, yes. <laughs> so guys, you're not getting off easy by just doing one or the other. <laughs> and also you have the farmer's market going on throughout the winter to keep us uh, yes, happy. definitely. Uh, January 16th and February, oh my goodness, 20th. Um, folks can go and check out the market and see what uh, the market has to offer. Different food vendors and prepared foods as well as crafts and things like that. And there's still a chance to get to sign up for the ski program? Oh yes, definitely. Kids can always come out, adults can come out and sign up anytime. Um, hopefully folks get in there early and then if not, we'll have other def other running events that we're still working on. Um, we have a new program that started last year which was the Couch to Canaan 5K. Um, I think it's just gonna be Couch to working on the 5K part, um, but we may have an addition to our July 4th event this year. Sounds we'll really see. good. So make sure we check the, the recreation website. Yes. And make sure we pray for freezing cold temperatures so we can get the, <laughs> the skating park up and running because it looks wonderful with your wonderful new park. Yes, we are gearing up and things are looking great at the skating park. And now that we have cold temperatures, yes, things are looking good. Well, I want to so. thank you for joining us. And I want to encourage all of our viewers to make sure you go to the Lebanon Recreation website. It's got all these events. And make sure you get your tickets early for the Full Moon Fiesta because it's a great time. And from what we heard of people who went last year, it was a wonderful, fun family event that they're looking to come to every year.